Alright guys, so right now I'm actually in Marbella and I thought I would take a minute just to kind of break down what the laptop lifestyle is actually like. Load up the chopper and ride on your enemies. Trap. That's what you get when you fuck with the family. Lord. Run with the fucking winners, we the winning team. Trap. You fuck with my niggas, you get in the penalty. Lord. Remember me. Load up the chopper and ride on your enemies. Trap. This what you get when you fuck with the family. Lord. Run with the fucking winners, we the winners. Oh, what do you have to do today? Today I have to write a proposal for a client. Uh -huh. um, and I actually have some. Uh, some documentation to write very boring day. Well, like taxes and shit? A bit of taxes and a bit like client reports, basically. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Now, mainly through social media, there's this whole misconception as to what the laptop lifestyle entails. Like, like you have all these like travel bloggers and stuff like that, and it looks like they're generally just like chilling by the pool 24 seven, going to the beach, taking these like awesome photos, awesome videos, and that is part of it slightly, but at the end of the day, the laptop lifestyle is basically the sum of hours and hours of putting in processes and systems so you can actually even travel and still maintain your business. And there's a lot of things that might seem cool at the time that you'll have to say no to. Like people always ask me like, why don't you have employees? Why don't you have offices? Literally for this reason, because like I need the flexibility to travel, to be in Marbella, to be in Bali, like work remotely from wherever. But as for like the nitty gritty day to day, like literally imagine I live in London. So imagine my work schedule in London, except here. And that's literally all it is. Whenever I travel, I make sure that the place I'm going to has a good gym, has a good spa. It's got good restaurants, good supermarkets around so I can still eat clean. I need exactly the same infrastructure as I have in London, except literally the only difference is I'm abroad. Now, a lot of people actually think that that would slow you down, but I actually find I'm way more efficient when I am abroad because I don't have friends texting me to come out party or I don't have like meeting after meeting after meeting. Traveling and working remotely really lets you focus on the important but not urgent. Stephen Covey talks about in Seven Habits of Highly Effective People how most people are so fixated on the important urgent. You know, that last proposal they have to send, that email that they have to send out, the really important piece of client work. But the problem is that starts stacking up and it doesn't leave you time to put in good infrastructure and think long term. So really coming out to a place like this, like, you know, you crush six to eight hours of work. I'm talking like deep work, not the stuff most people do. So you crush like six to eight hours of that. And then the time that you do have, you get to relax in a beautiful spa, go to the spa, relax by the beach, really whatever you're into. But I feel as though that is a much more efficient way to spend your time than the sort of leisure you get back home. I mean, a lot of people when they're relaxing, they're watching TV or they're even having like lunch with friends. But I feel as though that's like a weird purgatory because you're kind of enjoying yourself, but most of the time you're still thinking about work or you're on your phone or you're doing this and that. Coming to a place like this or wherever it may be, it really gives you that good contrast between work and play. So really, as I said, I don't want you to like look at all these bloggers and stuff like that. And no shit, they're gonna post the highlights. Like the, the highlights are the pretty stuff. Obviously my channel is based around like business, entrepreneurship, self-development. So I'm more than happy to show you what actually goes on behind the scenes. But that said, if I was a blogger, like I would probably just show you the highlights too because that's what sells. That's what gives them like this ridiculous like aura that they're that they're above everyone else or, or they've they've set up this incredible lifestyle. That's not the case. That's just what social media shows you. So really to live the quote unquote laptop lifestyle, it's gonna be excruciating amount of time to set up the infrastructure in order to do that. I mean, for example, like Bob, who's my business partner, he, he's holding the camera right now. His main business, he had to spend six to 12 months to put in the infrastructure where he can even leave one week of the month. Six to 12 months. 
just to set that up. And he even had to completely restructure his business. Now that's turned out to be an incredible move for him, but it's not easy. And you're gonna have to say no to a lot of stuff. And really you're gonna have to constantly keep in mind what is my ideal lifestyle. Now to relate that to you guys, Look, there is going to be a 3K a month, 5K, maybe 10K a month deal knocking and you are going to want to take it so bad. But if you take it and you know that your ideal lifestyle is this and that deal entails you being in your city for, say, even a week of the month, it will kill your soul. Because as an entrepreneur, all we really want is freedom and you've basically just sold that. So the first step to living this lifestyle is figuring out, is it even for me? Not everyone wants to do this like once a month. But if it is, how do I choose the right vehicle to get me there? I speak about vehicles a lot. You can't do this if you're a lawyer, if you're a doctor, if you're a digital marketer like me, you can do this all month. So picking the right vehicle, saying no at the important times, and then when you're actually here, remembering you're not on holiday, you can't just let your whole business go to shit. You have to maintain the exact same rituals and the exact same principles that you use back in your hometown. Bring them over here and enjoy the real time for relaxation that you have. And that's about it. So I hope that clarifies it a bit. I'm having a lot of fun here. This place is pretty sunny. Next month, I'm actually spending like two weeks in Amsterdam. IG Media is getting a lot of clients out there, so I'm just gonna spend two weeks kind of integrating them in. So once again, I get to travel, lots of fun, but um, so I have another four days here and at the time of posting it, it's actually coming up to the weekend. So I'm actually gonna take on two more coaching students. So the link is gonna be in the description. It's a two hour walkthrough where I teach you whatever you need to know about Facebook advertising, growing a six figure business actually doing this, setting up this lifestyle, whether that be from a marketing agency, a design agency, or even your personal brand. So yeah, I've got two more spots down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. I'll catch you guys in the next one.